Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, investor club fitter at Second Swing, and we are in the Greenside Bunker. One of those pesky shots on the golf course that uh, we always come across, the Greenside Bunker shot. Uh, Thomas, professional golfer, knows a little bit about how to hit these shots, so he's going to take us through the steps of setting up, swinging through uh, a course, what, you know, take sand, take ball, what do you do, and uh, hopefully we'll help you save some more pars from the bunker. So. Uh, Thomas, can you give us a brief outline of the steps you take, greenside bunker shots, how to ex execute them and save your ball? Yeah, so first thing I want to touch on here is you mentioned the word pesky. Yeah. Bunker shots should not be pesky. They should be one of your favorite shots to hit. Okay. The tour professionals, were in the, when they're in the sand, they are happy to be in the sand because they can generate ball spin on the ball and they can stop the ball on a dime. So being in the sand is a lot of fun. So this is, a, this is going to be a great tutorial to teach you how to build your confidence, how to hit a bunker shot. So first thing I always like to do is I want to make sure that the club face is aimed towards the target. So we want to make sure the ball goes towards our target, but because we do like to open the club face up a little bit in the sand, we have to aim our body and shoulders a little bit to the left. Okay. So first thing I like to do is I like to have my body and shoulders a little bit open to the, to the target. My club face is still aimed towards the target, but it's a little bit more open. I'm, I'm trying to generate some good ground interaction to use the bounce on this club. Yeah. So by opening that face up a little bit, what I'm doing is I'm presenting a little bit more bounce on the, on the golf club. Bounce is your friend. So that's the first thing I like to do is I like to have that face a little bit open, have my body a little bit open to the target, and then I like to just kind of take a little bit of sand on my way through. Okay. So you don't happen to have a dollar bill on you, do you? I do. You do? I do. Okay. I do. Should I do? Well, that's generous of you right off the bat. You're giving me <laughs> money. Um, I like to take people's money on the golf course. So teaching players how to hit bunker shot is going to help you take money off your buddies. Okay. So I mentioned dollar bill. So I always like to have a decent amount of sand taken here. So I've got a dollar bill out. When I'm hitting this shot, I'm trying to hit the ground right here to about right here. So about dollar bill size okay. is essentially what I'm saying. So. You can have your dollar bill oh, back. Oh, well, thank you. But that's just kind of kind of showing that how much sand we want to take out. We don't want to take out a lot of sound, sand, but we don't want to just pick the ball either. So we want to have some sand taken out. Okay. Longer. Okay. So about a dollar bill's length of, I guess, a divot out of the sand. It's not really a divot per se out of the sand, but that's kind of, um, you know, that length of a mark in the sand, if you will. Yeah. And then finally, because you do open your face up, you do open your body up a little bit. You do have to swing a little bit harder. We don't want to hit a very, very short shot and not have the ball go very far. We want to take some sand because we're taking sand. We have to generate some energy to get that ball to pop up in the air. Okay. Yeah. So, so you're, the, you're really focusing on accelerating downward, uh, especially uh, out of the sand versus maybe a short chip shot from the front. Correct. I'm trying to take sand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's see it right here. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so you've hit a few shots here. Uh, a couple things I wanted to ask you about. Uh, number one, I noticed you kind of dug your feet in a little bit in the sand. And I've seen you know, other golfers do that. Um, what is the purpose of that? So the purpose of that is because I'm trying to take sand, I'm trying to take turf. So I'm trying to get my feet level to where how much sand I want to take out. Okay. I'm also feeling how much sand is underneath this, yeah. the, the top layer. Because okay. if I do this and I feel like, oh, there's not much sand under there, then I might have to change up the way I hit the shot a little, a little bit okay. there as well. But if I'm digging down and I know there's sand there, I'm also creating a nice, comfortable base where I'm not going to slide or anything like that. Yeah. So what I'm doing is just trying to get comfortable myself in a position here to where I know that I'm not going to slip over the place. Sure. And then you, uh, you know, one of the things I noticed too is your ball position. Uh, how do you determine where to put the ball in your stance? Because I know it's clearly different than a standard maybe chip shot or you know, out of, you know, an 80 yard wedge shot, for example. So how does that differ, especially with your club grips being open and your kind of stance being open? Yeah, because we want to get the ball a little bit higher, 
Our ball position is going to be a little bit further forward in a sense. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit further forward because we're trying to get the ball to get up in the air. We're not trying to get the ball to stay down in the okay. air. So a little bit further forward in, in, in the stance. And then also because I'm trying to get the ball up in the air, what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to leave the club face open coming through. Okay. So I'm not trying to turn my wrists over like I would on a full swing. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep that club face kind of open here as it's coming through. So that way it's going to get the ball to go up in the air. I'm kind of holding off that face open a little bit so that it still does kind of have that upward momentum, that impact, right? So. Okay, yeah, that was, I just was curious about those two things because that's, um, you know, I've always wondered exactly what, you know, uh, the, the method is behind you know, the digging your feet in there. Um, and then, of course, ball position, that's something, too, where, you know, like around the green, people would like to manipulate that type of thing. And so it's always, there's got to be a sort of best practice for that. And just off kind of, uh, you know, the that front foot maybe might be the best play. Yeah, it's a, it's a good way to get the ball, get up in the air. Thomas, thank you for showing uh, all those tips and tricks for bunker shots. Uh, again, maybe not so pesky uh, of those shots around the golf course uh, to save your or perhaps make birdie. So, um, of course, golfers can subscribe to our channel and like this video. Uh, we'll be a lot more videos coming in the future like this from Thomas to help you improve your game on the golf course and lower your scores. So, Thomas, thanks again for helping us out here. Yep, not a problem.